As for Napoleon, having little success here, he also turned to other matters. In fact, we'll take a look at his family in brief. It's at this time in 1809, for example, uh, that he finally divorced his wife, Josephine. She no longer could bring him any more power, and she was not actually bringing him a son or an heir. And so he decided to divorce her, and he married the daughter of the Austrian emperor to further make his alliance with them, a woman by the name of Marie Louise, who curiously was the niece of Marie Antoinette. Eventually, they would have a son who would eventually become the king of Rome. Uh, when the Pope actually uh, protested against this and protested against Napoleon's takeover of Rome, Napoleon simply had him imprisoned. As for his faithful advisor, Talleyrand, that former bishop who rose to power in the revolution, he became prince of another Italian city-state, uh, Benevento. Uh, Napoleon's brother, Louis, became the king of Holland. He was the one who was crazy and used to flash his own people. His brother, Jerome, became king over Westphalia. His brother, Joseph, became king over Spain. And his sister, Caroline, who married one of his most famous uh, cavalry commanders, Marat, uh, together they became king and queen of Naples. His mother, uh, who was seen as being the, the mother of the great emperor and was given some of the highest places of honor in the court, reportedly said, if only this will last. Of course, it wouldn't. And